Now, if you look at the reason of these great scholars differing, why? If it's the same Quran and it's the same Sunnah, well, this issue needs a lot of studying and examples which we are unable to uh, um, afford in such a class. Why? There's a booklet in Arabic, I don't know if it's, definitely it has to be translated, by Ibn Taymiyyah. May Allah have mercy on his soul. It's called Raf'ul Malam Anil Aimmat Al A'lam. It translates roughly to stopping the blame upon the great Imams. Why do we blame them? Because they differed. Why would they differ if it's the same, same Quran, the same Sunnah? Ibn Taymiyyah explains that the reason of difference of opinions is greatly attributed to the evidence, whether it is authentic or not. And if it's authentic, whether it fits the situation or not. And if it fits the situation, whether there is something else abrogated it or not, whether the understanding is complete or there are exceptions for that particular evidence. And he gave a lot of reasons. For example, the companions themselves, may Allah be pleased with them, were addressed by a command from the Prophet ﷺ after the Battle of Trench, when the idol worshippers dispersed and went back to their homes, the Prophet ﷺ had to deal with the Jews of Bani Quraidha, who broke the treaty. Not only that, plotted to kill the Prophet ﷺ and to aid and assist the disbelievers in attacking Medina. So the Prophet ﷺ addressed the companions and said, none of you should pray Asr except in Bani Quraidha. Of course, this was addressed to them at the time of Dhuhr. Asr was not called for yet. So they marched. And in the middle of the way, the sun was about to set. Yet they did not reach Bani Quraidha. So they were divided into two groups. One said, we have to pray Asr before the sun sets, because then the time would be over. And the Prophet only said what he had said, alayhi salatu only to encourage us to be haste and to quickly make it to Bani Quraidha, not to skip Salah. The other group said, the command of the Prophet is crystal clear and he is the one that gives us direction whether to go or not, whether to pray or not. So they differed and hence the second group did not pray until the sun set and they reached Bani Quraidha. The first group, they prayed their prayer and then continued to march to Bani Quraidha, reaching there like 10 minutes after the second group. When they ar arrived, they told the Prophet ﷺ of their dispute. Now, why would two great groups of the companions differ over a command of the Prophet ﷺ? Once you understand that they had differed in such a command, then you can cascade this down to all Quran and Sunnah and understand where different ulama, different scholars, different uh, companions differ and where they're coming from. So if you understand this, then you start to appreciate the great work of the companions and the great work of the ulama themselves, the scholars.